really want to think about this space as sort of the last frontier in the Arsenale, and that it was a it was really the last garden that you get to. It's really the end of the, the Biennale's expansion because you have the water on the other side. So I wanted to keep its sense of being discovered and still been this place that's been really overgrown and untouched. I wanted to feel like you discovered the work here, that when you came in you weren't sure whether it was art or not, that it wasn't presented to you, and you really had this feeling of wondering where you were going. The work really starts when you turn the corner and you see the slight line of orange. You don't know whether it's something left over by a gardener or it's marking an artwork, is it marking the landscape? The fragility of the work is, is interesting to me outdoors because all of these are outdoor materials, but we're not used to thinking of outdoor sculpture as being this fragile, as being blown in the wind, as having weeds grow through it. But that kind of growth is actually part of wanting to reflect the entire kind of entropic quality of this garden as, it, as it's found. And at each location, there is a sound, actually, with the piece. Each of them has a different sound of water. And as you follow the path going back here, this is a crack that existed in the, in the wall already, this incredible crack, in this three-foot wall with the water on the other side. And these are actually photographs of water and the horizon. So it's water until you get to the crack in the wall and then it's sky. There's also a mirror at the top, which gives you a reflection of another sculpture. So there's actually a hammock within this well. And these are kind of, these are holding them up, so there's sort of hints that there's something inside the well. And then this is this um, beautiful sink basin, which we actually got the water to run again. And to me, this is probably the most obvious of this idea of an entropic landscape, of a, a sculpture that's actually being created by a kind of um, water dripping and the, and the actual material falling apart as it drips. I also wanted to play with this idea of what's a sculpture, what's a painting, what's a landscape. Um, and so I started using this, the paint to actually try and make a sculpture in space, sort of make a hanging painting, a hiding sculpture in space. So these are just drips of paint. This place is so layered. You feel the layers of history. And I wanted to sort of trace that history, like highlight it, so that you started to notice all of these incredible things, um, at, you know, to the top of the, top of the wall, um, the sink, these old buildings. Um, there's an incredible falling building over here. So you, to actually turn the volume up on your sense of every part of the space, even your sense of sound, sense of light, um, sense of nature. Mm -hmm.